sleep examination. Are you okay to continue for yes. here? Yes. Yeah, okay, excellent. So, again, look, feel, move. Does the pattern look easier for you? The same consist soft tissue, skin, soft tissue, skeleton? Okay, you want to come back again for me? So, again, you start with not only gait, but Trendelenburg as well, is it not? Okay, so, again, so, yeah, he's tired sitting, so he's a trundle. So, we'll just walk around and see there is no abnormality in the gait, okay? And next is Trendelenburg. Trendelenburg is nothing but if this abductor is weak, it can't spring to hold the pelvis up. It is for ground clearance. Otherwise, every time they will be hitting on the ground. That's the basic principle of the abductors, okay? And uh, especially after totally pre-placement, we have to check for because if it is weak, they will be going like that, okay? So, can you hold my, support my hand, okay? And then bend one of the knees back, okay? When we walk, we don't walk like that, like, is it not? So we walk like when we, we it will be like that. So bend the knee back rather than like that. Okay. So bend. Yeah, that's good. So which abductor are we checking? Right or left? Yeah, excellent. So the pelvis is springing up. We can see the pelvis springing up. It's not dropping. Is it not? It's not dropping. So and he is not putting undue pressure on my hand. Okay. Unless I hold him for ten minutes. Okay. Relax now. And can you bend the other knee? Okay. Again, we are checking the right abductors and it's fine. Clear? Good. So, again, now starting with look, feel, move, skeleton first, okay. Hip means we slightly see the pelvis one joint above and one joint below, is it not roughly? So, looking there, okay, I do not see any pelvic tilt, okay. We can start from the shoulder level, but some people will have a lot of problems, spine, so everything, shoulder, so do not start too much high, just one joint above. So, there is no obvious pelvic tilt. No, then below is there is no rotational deformity. Some people have internal rotation deformity, some have external rotation deformity. So, no obvious pelvic tilt, there is uh, lower limb alignment is fine, okay, or there is no rotational. Can you turn to the side for me, please, okay. Looking from the side, there is no flexion deformity of the hip. You start one higher is normal lumbar lordosis. If there is exaggerated lumbar lordosis, then what do you think of? Uh, no, it will be the opposite. If the exact, if it is exact lumbar lordosis, there may be a, <laughs> uh, uh, there may, <laughs> uh, there is a chance of fixed flexion deformity. Okay, okay, okay. I'll come to that later. So, looking from the side, normal lumbar lordosis, no flexion deformity. Okay, and can you turn to the back for me, please? And looking from the back, there is no uh, pelvic tilt and there is no obvious wasting, swelling, scars throughout, okay? Right, now you want to lie down for me, please. Now the couch has to be straight. Okay, go, don't go to sleep. Okay, you want to come up for me? Thanks, yeah. Okay, that's good. So, joint line tenderness, is it not? So, this is for shoulder, I told, we start from there, go like that. For knee, I told, Y axis, X axis and Z axis. Here we start C, again start from the front and go to the back, okay, easy way. So, look for warmth, okay, I may forget warmth because we do not do warmth unless there is a specific. So, look for warmth, then wherever the pulse is, femoral artery pulse is, that is, that is a, where the head of the femur is, okay. So, generally you vaguely do anterior joint line tenderness and then look for any trochanteric tenderness, okay. There is a bony point, you can all can feel on the side, trochanteric bursitis. And then, can you slightly tilt to the side for me, please? That's fine, okay? And any sacroiliac joint pain, that is the bony buttock, okay? Okay, relax. So, hip joint, trochanter, SA joint, finished, okay? Because hip and SA joint is quite close. But at the end of examination, you have to tell, I will complete my examination doing a spine examination, okay? It's no point extending spine again at the back, very back, okay? It's difficult. So, now, where we are, okay, so we are done with that, look, feel, move, okay, move in all possible planes, okay. So, one is the flexion, okay, so I want to see how much he has got an extensive fixed flexion deformity or not, okay. Do you, are you clear what is fixed flexion deformity, okay, imagine my biceps 
is shot by tens uh, by, by 5 centimeter it will be like that ok. If it is like that I can further flex but not the opposite extension because it is short. But all the deformities are revealed in extremities other than the hip which is concealed. If imagine my iliopsoas is short it will be like that but I do not want to walk like that I want to keep the straight so I would be like that. So I do not want to walk either like that I would go like that ok. So I got exaggerated lumbar lordosis. So the only way to reveal the deformity is to tilt the pelvis back is it not back so tilt the pelvis back. Can you hold somebody's pelvis and tilt back you cannot use the opposite femur to press on the pelvis to straighten it back. How do you know you are corrected enough? Because you are behind on the spine. Yeah lumbar lordosis is an indicator. So until normal lumbar lordosis is regained you have to keep pushing the pelvis clear. So first is hand under hand under first ok before you bend and then ok it is quite tight normal ok and then if you want to check this leg you bend the opposite leg can you bend it for me you do not try to take a big leg and bend ok and then support it at the end when it is easy for you to bend you bend it can you hold with both your hands clasp your hands clasp it yeah yeah you know easier like that is easier is it not ok relax back I want to put the hand under ok just again ok and can you bend the opposite opposite leg for me again this one yeah and clasp it ok great and now you can stop there and now I am checking if it if it springs up sorry bend your knee for me yeah a little bit 30 degree roughly ok. So imagine if it is like that there is a you have to look from the side not from the top there is a fixed flexion of around 25 degree roughly but do not carry it away just gently press on it and see what is the residual thing because patients may jump up like that. So just like that so there is a fixed flexion deform this is a final position ok. This is the final position there is a fixed flexion deformity of 10 degree something like that ok. That means you do not need to check the extension because already there is no extension opposite extension is not there ok. Now the flexion of the other hip is 100 degree or 90 degree you can check at the same time because he has already bent the other hip ok. So we have done it now we want to check how much is the full flexion of this one we have just checked the extension is it not that means ok can you bend this hip as much as possible ok. So it is around 100 degree ok so 100 degree that is fine ok. So extension flexion next is internal all other movements you know is it not. So I will do one at a time or you can do both at a time I tend to do both but it may be difficult for you ok. So when you do the Thomas flexion test he is already in flexion can you bend this knee for, for me he is already in flexion before he straightens I just lift the knee and then hold the pelvis and see for external rotation and internal rotation ok from the ceiling from the ceiling ok before so and then comes the abduction and adduction make sure the pelvis both pelvis is not tilted you have to but in your level you do not just look at it that is enough ok. So look at the pelvis is not tilted you just tell pelvis is not tilted support the pelvis at one side hold the go at the other end and then sorry we are looking any movement is passive any movement is passive but active assisted passive you are not looking at the power you are looking at any stiffness of the joint any contractures of the joint fixed flexion deformity is a contracture ok. Internal rotation is limited it is a contracture ok. So we are looking for any contractures which is passive movement ok. But if you if you want the help of the patient you can ask them to do a bit and then you can do the remaining ok. Can you spread your legs for me as much as possible means maybe a slightly less effort ok. But ideally it is a passive ok. So then you when you, you stop when the pelvis moves ok abduction is around 30 degree and then adduction is around 20 degree ok you stop ok clear. And then measure um, so measurement basically some people with polio cerebral palsy have all the muscle contractures. So muscle if they have like that you are measuring from a midpoint of the body to the medial malleolus and the midpoint of the body to the other medial malleolus and see what is the apparent difference 
okay this will help to show how much shoe rise they can have or anything but in actual fact the bones will be the same length the bones may be the all same length if you cut all the tendons and muscles then everything will fall floppy and they will be equal okay but they can't walk okay so basically apparent is as they are as they are with their deformity you measure from the midpoint to both medial malleolus okay and this is mainly useful for orthotics and everything whereas true measurement is done to see if there is any limb length discrepancy to whether to lengthen the bone or shorten the other bone okay the, again it will reflect an apparent okay so that i think you will so from the ziffy sternum inch tape medial side same just go that that is apparent and for the true measurement we have to go from a nearer to the hip joint which is the asis are you okay asis to the medial malleolus asis to the medial malleolus before which the pelvis should not be tilted because if it's like that then one asi is higher than the other so you have to square the pelvis before okay square the pelvis before i we will can go through it later about it okay if there is a problem with the knee deformity and everything then you have to measure individual bones asi is to medial ma malleolus sorry separate separate bone we have to measure if there is a deformity in individual bones okay